What's up guys, welcome to a new and much needed video. I have the S2000 on the lift and I got a lovely box right here. I have a new exhaust for the S2000, an NVIDIA N1. My brother's here to help me. We're gonna do this exhaust hopefully somewhat quick. Um, so let me show you what we have going on. So we have the S2000 on the lift and as you can see, I haven't actually said anything on my other videos, but I have actually cut the mufflers off previously just to get a little more sound out of it. I know it's very sketchy, but um, that was just a, a temporary thing till I could get this exhaust ordered and in. So mufflers are gone, but everything else is perfectly intact. Um, so back here is where it connects with the cat back. And as you can see, we've already gone ahead and tried to remove some of these bolts and they have broken. I have yet to figure out how simple this is going to be, whether we drill these out or whatnot. Obviously I can't replace the cat because that would be really, really expensive but it'll be a cat back, so if I'm here back, it'll replace all this. It is the dual exhaust, so out each side with the NVIDIA plate right in the center. I have it here, we'll open it up here shortly, but we're gonna see if we can get this exhaust out and hopefully figure out that flange issue. Uh, so it's been a little bit here, and um, I got all of those out. They're actually punch. I drilled this one out and then realized that it's actually a, a punch. So they look like, I don't have it, but they're I, cause I cut them flush but they got the little ribbed spot to them and they're both, they're all punched. Now, I don't know if you still have to cut the, the caps off of them before you punch them. I don't think so, but um, I got them all out. This flange is, the, the other old flange is really on there really good, so I'm gonna have to clean it up. But, um, so that's out. Now I have to work on getting everything cleaned up over here. Uh, I have the new exhaust piece. They actually send you in the kit with the NVIDIA. They send you these bolts here. There's five of them, two of them that connect the Y pipe. And then there's three others that are for here. Um, so they send you with all the bolts. Now the spring bolts that hold this and the upper part of the manifold, or the, sorry, the header together, those spring bolts, I would advise getting some new ones when you're doing it because one of these broke and I don't, none of my parts stores have them in stock. So I'm gonna have to put a bolt in there temporarily until I can order some in. And then I'll just go ahead and swap them out some point later. It'll still work fine, but you want that factory bolts in there, you know, if you can. So we're gonna go ahead and start uh, mocking this up. This has gotta go back up in here. I'm gonna clean this up here a little bit too. We'll put this together. And then it's a matter of getting that all opened up the rest of the way and kinda putting all the parts in with the dual exhaust going all the way back here. And it should be looking pretty. So let me get a quick time lapse of that. So after a quick few runs to the parts store and fastening everything up there, you can see we got it all done. It is looking great. They're both there, pretty centered, pretty basic and easy to hook up. We got the NVIDIA plate underneath there, you can see. But we're about to fire it up for the first time. Uh, I'll be hearing it for the first time as well as you guys here. So he's gonna jump in the car and start it right up. So that pretty much sums up the video. Um, as you can see, we got it out of the garage here and that exhaust is looking really good. Uh, I'm excited, we're gonna go take it for some spin and have some fun with it. Uh, 
that's basically it for now. Hopefully that gives you guys an idea of what it sounds like with an NVIDIA exhaust. I have some clips that I'm gonna get before and after so you can kind of hear the difference. Um, obviously there was just a muffler delete before and then now it's a uh, full exhaust, at least cat back that is. So obviously it's not gonna be a perfect comparison for you guys with stock exhaust, but it's just something definitely a really, really much needed upgrade in this case. So I'm super excited. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comments make sure you subscribe to see more stuff done to this car and our other projects that we have going on and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one